In this tutorial, we will examine the advanced search and command line search functions in the PsycInfo database. The advanced search function can be located by selecting Advanced Search from the Advanced Search drop-down menu at the top left-hand corner of the screen. We will not have to select this option at the moment, however, as the PsycInfo homepage defaults to the advanced search. The advanced search allows you to enter terms into search boxes, select a search field, such as SU for subject heading, TI for document title, or CC for classification code, as well as combine searches using Boolean operators such as AND or OR. For the purposes of our search, we will be using the thesaurus to look up PsycInfo subject terms that we can later add to our search. The thesaurus is located on the upper right hand side of the screen. We will type our first term, postpartum, into the search terms text box. Ensure that the contain words option is selected and then select find. As you can see, our search has resulted in two subject terms found. In order to decide which subject term is more appropriate, we can click on the expand icon to the left of the term to reveal what topics this subject term is used for, its broader terms, and its related terms. We will select this subject term as it appears to be the term we are looking for. Before adding the subject term to our search, we can explode or focus our search as a major subject. For our purposes, we will select explode, which is the default option. We will now click add to search. Our search will now be displayed in the search box, and you will notice that the subject heading field code has now been selected. We can now choose our second term. Once again, click on the link to the thesaurus. We will search the term medication. And when we click to expand, we are told to use the word drug therapy. We will select this term, explode it, and click add to search. As you can see, the Boolean operator AND is already selected to combine our searches together. We are now ready to run our search. We can now return to the advanced search screen to begin our second search. Click Clear Form to remove our last search and field selected. We will look for the term Adverse Reactions. And once again, click on the Expand icon to view the control vocabulary for this term. In this database, side effects is used. Leave the explode option selected and click add to search. Then run the search. To combine this search with our previous search, click the recent search link at the top right corner of the page. To combine our searches, type 1 and 2 in the Combine Searches box and click Search. There are a number of helpful features on the search results page. First, you can select Brief View, which shows only the citation information, or the default Detailed View, which provides a link to the citation slash abstract, the Get It at Western function, and the number of cited bys and references. In either view, there is a link to preview, which, when you mouse over, will open to show the article citation, abstract, get it at Western function, and the assigned subject terms. Next, you can also create alerts and RSS feeds by filling out the respective forms here, 
and here. Finally, from the toolbar along the top of the page, you have the option to save the citation to My Research, email the citation to yourself, or print it. To do so, simply select the citations you wish to keep, then click on any of the appropriate links. You can also save your citations to RefWorks. We will cover this process in more detail in the next tutorial. Now that we have covered the functions of the advanced search, let's turn our attention to the command line search. Utilizing a different interface, the command line search offers all the same functions as the advanced search. The command line search is most useful for those more familiar with both the ProQuest platform and the PsycInfo database.